It's already been an active wildfire season. A few hundred wildfires, many of them small, but a few hundred have started since the beginning of this year. And some of Arizona's prisoners have stood on the front lines helping to battle these flames. Stephanie Olmo is live tonight with more. Steph? John and Christina, as part of the state forestry program, these inmates are used during the wildfire season to help out with suppression efforts and mitigation. And so far this year, they've been very busy at work. Fire crews have been busy this fire season so far. As we've had two type one incidences in, you know, and it's not even the middle of May yet. Some of those who have been battling the flames across the state are Arizona inmates. For decades, the Department of Forestry and Fire Management has worked with the Department of Corrections to train inmates to be on the front lines. Some of these folks are more, you know, more versed in firefighting than um, others because that's all they have to do is train. And they're very um, appreciative of the fact that they get to do this type of thing. There are 12 hand crews, each crew comprised of 20 members. Tiffany Davila says having the inmates involved with wildfire efforts benefits them and it also saves taxpayers some money. Fire suppression is not cheap. Uh, especially when we have to use large scale aircraft like the very large air tanker. Um, that type of suppression when it's needed is expensive. It's extremely expensive. Fires can are, can end up being a multi million dollar incident. This weekend, two wildland fire crews were sent to battle the Copper Canyon fire burning near Globe and more were recently deployed. All in all, I'd say about five crews have gone out so far over the course of a few days. And of course, we really hope to get them out more this summer. Uh, we're always, you know, appreciative of the fact when we can use them because these men and women are some of the hardest working firefighters in the industry. And Governor Doug Ducey signed a bill into law a couple of months back that will employ 700 more state inmates to help out with mitigation work uh, throughout the year. That law goes into effect starting July 1st. Reporting live tonight, I'm Stephanie Omo, Fox 10 News.